so if you are training potty training your kid and you are getting frustrated take a few step back take a deep breath sit down and go back to the drawing board and say okay what am i missing how am i doing this training how is this person learning how do they learn once you figure out how each of your children learn differently you will know how to potty train or how or how to educate them differently at their own pace so hello guys hi family how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing great and i hope you guys are doing awesome welcome back to my channel today we are doing a sit down video today we are going to be talking about how to potty train your two year old yes i i as a matter of fact here he is here he is Go back. <laughs> I have a two-year-old. He turned two in November, and we are working on potty training him. Well, if you are new to my channel, like I said earlier, my name is my, my name is Vera. I am a mom of four boys, and um, this is my hubby and I, our last baby right here. This is the last for the whole family. So we are working on potty training him. So I want to give you parents few tips. I have a total of seven. I think I don't want to make this video really long, but I have few tips I want to give you guys. How this guy and I we are working on potty training him. I want to give you guys a few tips, okay? First of all, I want to let you guys know potty training a two-year-old guys, potty training a two-year-old. It takes patient it's a huge milestone for the two-year-old and for the parent and it takes time it takes patience my son he's two like i said he just turned two in, in november he's very very smart he's talking extremely clear at his age so when he wants to poo poo he would literally hold your hand and say mommy poo 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 which means he wants to go poo poo or he wants to go pee and um if he wants milk he will tell you so this is what i want to let you guys know tip number one is to involve the child into the potty training what do you mean by involve the child into the potty training this is what i mean let the kid pick out a potty chair for themselves what i have been doing with the rest of my kids my first son i bought him a separate potty chair guys it was not a good idea okay let me tell you why it was not a good idea. Because when he uses his party, he party uh, camo or toilet. I have to literally pick it up and I have to take the the, the camo and dump it in the toilet. That was a lot of little gross stuff. So hello, you speaking? He's speaking to you guys. He's like hello. I told you guys say hello. <laughs> So, and that was really, really gross. I'm not going to lie. No. So, after my first son, my second son, my third son, I this is my fourth. I have bought, like, the camo no. chair the, no. for the actual toilet. No. I have bought the chair, and it fits on the toilet. He no. climbs on it and sits on it. No. That's how I have been able to potty trim the, the three, of, the, the three <laughs> of my kids, okay? So, when I bought him the potty chair, let me, let me show you guys his potty chair. I'll be right back. Okay, this is my son potty uh, chair, okay? So, I'm going to show you guys how I put on the toilet. So, this is it. He picked this out for himself. It has like a two handle. So, when he sits on the toilet, he can hold on to it, okay? So, like I, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how we do it when we're ready to go do potty training. All right? So, that is tip number one. Let the child be involved in their own potty training. Let them pick out whatever they like. All right. Well, all right. That is tip number one. Tip number two. Timing is key. Mothers, I cannot say this one. I cannot stress it enough than what I have to say. Timing is everything. Like, like I said earlier, my son, he's extremely smart for his age. He would tell me, "Mommy, I want poo poo. I want poo poo." And we will go to the bathroom. Or if I see him, guys, like literally, if I see him holding like it's his private part if i see him holding it that's another indicator that okay he has to go or if i see him do like the two dance the, the two-legged dance like this that means he has to go so timing is everything make sure you keep your eyes on your kid make sure you know the cubes of okay this is the cubes this cubes me let's go sit on the toilet and let's go party okay 
So timing, it's everything. Like for you, the adult, if you don't want to pee and imagine somebody dragging you to the bathroom and say, okay, sit down here and go to the toilet, you will not go because why you don't have to go. But if you have to go and somebody carry you or escort you down there, you will definitely go. So timing is everything. Our tip number three. This one, if your kid is a little older, like I said, my son just turned two. He is um, four months into his two years journey. So if your kid is a little older, this uh, number three will apply to them. If your kids are like three years old, four years old, have them pull down their pants, encourage them, say, okay, honey, bring your pants down, bring your pants down so you can sit on the party. I'm also incorporating this uh, part into my son party training lesson. Even though he's, he really doesn't like comprehend at this point, he cannot comprehend what bring your pants down is, but I'm teaching you. I mean, I'm teaching him. So whenever he and I goes to the bathroom, whenever he and I go to the bathroom, I hold his pants and then I tell him, honey, pants down, pants down, watch mommy, pants down. And then he, he holds it, and but he doesn't go further with it. But he's he's um, comprehending, he, he's getting the picture, he's getting what pants down is, what it means to bring your pants down, okay? So if your kid is older, encourage the child in dependency okay sweetie go to the bathroom and put your pants down and go to it when my um third son my third son when he was a little older it took my third son a little longer to um to potty train completely but when he was three years old we were still potty training him so what i used to do is i used to tell him honey when he said mommy i want to go um pee pee i tell him go to the bathroom i point at the bathroom and go to the bathroom and then I stand there and point at it, bring your pants down, sit on the toilet. I'm teaching him to be independent because I'm not going to be there with him all the time. And when he um, grasps her, like, okay, mom said bathroom, pants down, sit on the toilet. Bathroom, pants down, sit on the toilet. Bathroom, pants down, sit on the toilet. When he got that, it was an easy process. Okay, I'll tip number four. Okay, make it positive. Um, experience what I mean by positive experience when um when you are poly training your kids not just poly training your kids if you want kids to exceed um uh, at their maximum potential of life right um give them positive feedback we you, like for me or for you when you do good and somebody give you praises, right? Don't you feel good? Don't it make you want to do more? Doesn't it make you want to go the extra mile and be like, okay, if this person... Ex Doesn't it make you want to do more? If like, Okay, if this person appreciate my hard work, that means I, I can do more, okay? It's the same thing with the kids. If your kids go to the party and, party and, and do their party on the toilet, praise them. Tell them, yay, honey, I am so, so proud of you. I, oh my goodness, you did so well. I am so, so proud of you. If you have a little treat, give it to them. That's what I do with my kids. When they, especially when they go to the party by themselves without telling, I mean, without mommy escorting them or without mommy giving them cubes, oh my goodness, I I make it a huge deal, a big deal because what it prompts them, it encourages them to do more, like to go to the party by themselves. So positive experience. If you take them to the bathroom and they do whatever they have to do, even if they don't do it, motivate them. Say, all right, honey, even though you didn't do anything, next time I'm pretty sure you're gonna do something. You are encouraging and you are making them happy to do it more. All right, that was our tip number four. Tip number five. Tip number five, like I said before from the beginning of the video. Patience is a virtue. Patience is everything when it comes to potty training your two years old. We are mostly focusing on two-year-old because at this point, I have a two-year-old. But it goes for the three-year-old also. It goes for the one-year-old, however stage or age your child is at. And you are potty training them this go for all of it patience is the key if you are not patient with a two-year-old a three-year-old a, a one-year-old how you expect them to potty train to learn to potty train they are not going to grasp it they are not going to get a hint of it so please be patient with them if you guys go sit on the toilet and they didn't do nothing next time they will do something the key is be patient if they are sitting on the toilet 
give them time, be patient with them for them to find a tree. Like I said, my, my third son, it took him time to polytrain. My third son, it took a little longer to polytrain than my two year old, I mean, than my 13 year old and my eight year old. My 13 year old, it took him longer to polytrain because he was the only child then. So it took him a lot longer to polytrain. But my eight year old, oh my goodness, that boy was a, he was very, very fast. And my three year old, my third son, it took him a little longer to, you know, catch on with the potty training. And what I want you parents to know is every kid are different. Because my AL potty train really, really fast, I didn't expect my my four-year-old, now he's four, but he's completely potty train. I didn't expect my four-year-old at that time, which was three and two, I didn't expect him to be like his brother. No, every human being are different. So, because your first child will potty train really fast, don't expect your second child to be potty train very fast. Because your fifth child potty train really fast, don't expect your third child to be potty train very fast. Every human being are completely different. They learn differently. We all learn completely differently. Our pace of learning is completely different. So, give every child the chance and the opportunity for them to learn how to potty train and to learn anything and everything differently, okay? All right, that was our tip number six. Oh, five. Tip number six, establish routine. Routine establishment is very, very important. What I mean by routine establishment, okay, my son, I'm training, potty training my son right now. What I'm, like, when he wakes up in the morning, the first thing he and I do, I take him to the toilet. Honey, that go baby. Because when you wake up in the morning, that's the first thing you want to do, right? Most people, definitely for me. What I want to do is I want to I want to go potty, okay? So what I do with my son when he wakes up in the morning, first thing, we go potty train. And then um, another thing, before he goes to bed, we have to do a potty train because what? I don't want him to go to bed. And then, doing through, and then throughout the day, I just wait for the cube. So our routine is... In the morning, potty train. Before nap, potty train. Bedtime, potty train. And then doing doing all the day, I just wait for the cubes. I just wait for him to give me the cubes. Like, okay, mommy, mommy, I gotta go. Or when he's holding his things, mommy, I gotta go. Or when he verbally tells me, then we go. But our routine is when he wakes up, nap time, bedtime. So those three three things are our routine. But doing our through out of the day he tells me he shows me what he wants to do all right if this video is helping you mom do me a favor thumbs this video up hit the subscribe button down below okay a little reminder that i want to say before i want you guys to know like i said earlier every children or every child is completely different okay i want you guys to really listen to this every child is different we are all human beings. We are different. We all learn at a different space. I mean, a uh, uh, pace and speed and all that stuff. So I do not want we parents to rush our kids. Or like, for example, we are potty training. We've been potty training our kids for six months to a year, three months, four months, two months, however months that you have been potty training a child. And a child is not grasping the, the concept. I don't want you to be frustrated and, and start saying words that you're not supposed to say to the child. Every human being learns differently. Like I told you guys earlier, my three-year-old learned completely different. He's very, very smart at his own pace. My, he's four now. My four-year-old, he's extremely smart at his own pace. The thing that my two-year-old is learning really, really fast, I do not expect my four-year-old to learn it very, very fast because while he is a four-year-old by himself, his own person, and the thing that my eight-year-old is learning really, really fast, I do not expect my 13-year-old to learn very, very fast. They are all individual people differently and they learn differently. So if you are training, potty training your kid and you are getting frustrated, Take a few steps back, take a deep breath, sit down and go back to the drawing board and say, okay, what am I missing? 
how am I doing this training? How is this person learning? How do they learn? Once you figure out how each of your children learn differently, you will know how to party train or how or how to educate them differently at their own pace. So that's what I want to say. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you love video like this, more of the mom education video. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below and leave me a comment down below and tell me. Just type in more mom education video and I'll give you guys more mom education video. Like I said, I'm a mom of four boys. Okay? So I'll see you guys next time.